Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and welcome to my channel. Today's video, we are doing an extreme clean and reorganizing my kitchen refrigerator. Mine has needed it for a while and I'm so excited to get it all cleaned up and reorganized. I'm so glad you're here and I hope today's video will inspire you to give your refrigerator a good cleaning. All right guys, let's get started. Here are a couple additional items that I purchased that I'm going to try to use that are a little bit different. This looks really cool. You put your um, herbs in them and then you refrigerate them in these little tubes. So I'm going to try those out. And then I also have these drawers that actually hang from the shelf. So you put these up and then um, this actually hangs right underneath it, so it kind of gives you some extra space. I did buy a couple of these smaller little baskets because I really like the large ones. It does have a little insert in the middle, which I'll probably not use it because I'm going to use this for a couple of vegetables and put them in the drawer. These are so awesome because they do also have the little vents that you can keep open or closed. They seal really nicely. You can also rinse your vegetables directly in this and then just put it in here and it drains it. So um, it's pretty nice, I really like these. Here's the current condition of my refrigerator. It's just forever getting into a chaos. There are certain things that I do really like and I think that they really work, but there are also those that don't. So I'm gonna reorganize all of these. And the negative about this refrigerator is that it is a shelf depth refrigerator which makes it really challenging because its drawers are not as deep as a typical refrigerator. So, and um, that's one of the things that I have issues with. Um, I also have little areas of this refrigerator that freezes. So this very top shelf in the left freezes and down here on the very bottom, it freezes also. This drawer does not open all the way. So that's another issue. So I'm going to take everything out first and then I can see the space that I have to work with. I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning and reorganizing this fridge. I'm trying this new multi-purpose cleaner. I have now emptied everything off the shelves and wiped them all down. I haven't done the sides yet, but. Now comes the fun part. So I grade all my cheese blocks and then put them in the freezer in individual little bags. And then I just fill the jars up as I need them. And then I just put them in this container. These are great containers for celery and carrots and because of the length. And then here are my carrots. So I don't peel these until I'm ready to use them so they don't get dried out. Keep them airtight. Another great container I love are these. They keep the water out and they hold a ton of lettuce too. I'm gonna use 
use another one of these for um, peppers, actually. I cook a lot with peppers, so I'm just going to put those in there. And I'm going to go ahead and add my jalapeno peppers in here, too. Yeah, that works. And then again, these have the, the air things, so I keep those sealed, and that'll keep them fresh. I'm gonna put cottage cheese in here. I really love it. Um, but I like to eat cottage cheese with diced fruit. So I have my peaches in here, and I have my cottage cheese there. And then I can stack these, which are awesome. And then I can just put those in the fridge just like that. And I can get them as I need them. I'm gonna use these two glass containers store my berries so they're, they're, they're sealed tight and I love them so um, and I can see what they are without labeling them so I'm going to cut up some of these strawberries And the other container, I'm just gonna put some of these blueberries that I just washed. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some cucumbers and put it in one of these dishes also so I can have them already pre-cut. And when I need them, I can have them ready to go. I do like to cut my cucumbers at an angle. It's just presentation. I'm also gonna go ahead and put these mushrooms in there too. Technically don't like to wash my mushrooms until they're ready to be used just because it makes them mold faster. So I'm just gonna stick them all into this container and just um, as they are in the packaging. I also washed some sugar snap peas that I thought I could put in another one of these glass containers. And we can put that in there too so we'll have that ready to snack on. Okay, so I'm just gonna break apart all these little branches.
do the same for the broccoli. I have another one of these little basket things. Sometimes I use the stem, stems, especially in stir fries, I go ahead and use them. But in this case, I'm not gonna be using them. This is gonna be for like our, our pasta salads. So it's already pre-cut. Snacks, if we wanna eat them as a snack. And this way they can just grab it right out of the fridge. They're already washed and cleaned. And it's perfect. And it, I think we'll fit it all, I hope. I bought a pack of three of these and I'm gonna see how they work with my cilantro. I know when I refrigerate my cilantro, they tend to last a lot longer in the refrigerator. I typically like to cut the stems off. Cut all these off real quick. I like what you do with flowers where you cut the stems off. Now, I'm not sure how this works. Okay, so I, I kind of took half of them away just because I think they're too full and I don't want it, the whole point is to not, is to make them last longer and I didn't want them to squish in here. That gives them some breathing room. And then you take this part down here and then you fill it with water. It only allows you to put just a little bit. So the rest of these, I'm just gonna put in a cup and put it on my counter. Okay, next. I also got Italian parsley. I'm gonna cut the ends on the bottom again, just to get them fresh. Now, again, these look like they're really full. So I'm gonna just split this in half and put half of them in here. So I took all the tall ones out because they were too tall. So I'm gonna try and see if I can fit these in here. Again, we'll close it up. They're really full. I don't, I'm not sure how, how packed they're supposed to be. All right, so I think I got those in there. And then again, I'm gonna fill this up with water. So these are tall ones, so I'm just gonna put them in a mason jar of water. The last thing I got was curly parsley, which to me, they look the same as Italian parsley. So again, I'm gonna cut the ends off. So now I have three of these, thing, and then you stick these in the refrigerator so they stay cold and fresh for longer than what they would if you just had them on the counter. Okay. So I think I'm gonna put these little mini bagels in here and see if I can have that many left, so. I have just a few left, so I think I'm gonna see if it'll fit that way, that'd be great. Put these English muffins right here, look, it fits, perfect. Perfect. So I think I got a lot of this pretty organized. Um, I have my coffees and my milk up there. I also have the jellies and jams. These are all our pickles. Um, down here is my lunch meat.
And down here are also some more cheeses. These are the jar cheeses of the shredded um, Parmesan and the cheddar, but I also have some stuff that I use for my charcuterie board. And then also there's some salamis and um, prosciutto ham also for my charcuterie board. Over here we've got our creamers and water, and pomegranate juice, and then coconut water. I only have one of these. They're so hard to find, I couldn't find them anywhere, but my son introduced these to me, and this is like my favorite coconut water. But it fits perfectly, so once I get a stock of them, they'll, they'll fit in a row there. Coming down here, I have my celery and my carrots, and then here's my container of lettuce, and my container of veggies, which right now just has all my peppers in it. And then coming down here is my are all my condiments, which right now it's it's a little snug here, but it still spins enough that we can get to it. And then over here I have my my cottage cheese and my fruit cups to go with them. And then on this side is my sour creams and my eggs. So in the back are the container of strawberries and blueberries. And then I also have the container of English muffins and the mini bagels. And then in front are our apples. So in this bottom drawer, I have my Japanese food that I keep over here. And then on this side, I have the broccoli and the cauliflower that I just cleaned and cut. And down here are the cucumbers and the mushroom sugar snap peas. Just keep them all here with the veggies label. So here on my door I have, this is where I keep my butter and my bouillon base. Okay, so here are the herb containers that I just purchased. Um, I like the idea, see how they're very confined, but they're gonna stay fresh hopefully. We'll see if they make it a week. But um, And then these are all our salad dressings. And these are all our different vinegars. I have my cider vinegar, red wine vinegar, and I believe this is this is the rice vinegar. And then coming down here, these are all my sauces. So um, I do have sauces in the back that's teriyaki, there's some barbecue sauce, and some, um, there's also some um, sake, and this is, Soy sauce, I keep mine refrigerated so it lasts longer. When it, it isn't refrigerated, it tends to get dark and change its flavoring. Um, and then here are all the different sauces that we use. Um, and then down here are my juices. I used to have labels for all of these, but this is just water, iced tea. This is our lemonade and orange juice. I put labels on them, but it would be crazy because they would always have the labels in the back. It wouldn't be lined up. And anyway, so that's those are our juices. Okay, so here is the finished fridge organization. I did put some asparagus that I just got. And everything is organized. I love how it turned out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. And until next time, bye-bye.